In this video, I'll run through how to use the Build Book Estimate Template to create professional estimates for construction or remodel projects. We'll go over the main components of the template and the key tips to get you started that'll make preparing future estimates easier than ever before. Let's jump into what the template helps you create. The main thing that the template helps you calculate is the price and a breakdown of all the itemized line items. This is the meat and potatoes of it all, but most people stop here. Let's not forget that presentation is everything. Something as simple as a cover letter can go a long way, which the template provides, as well as a signature page. And if you're still writing things out on carbon copy estimate notepads, forget about that and start using this new method. If you haven't already opened a copy of the template, you can head over to Build Book where you can register for a free link to the template. Once you've opened the link, it'll bring you into a Google Sheet. And the first thing you'll do is save a copy so you can edit. The tabs across the bottom walk you sequentially through the steps. You'll find all the instructions you'll need in the first tab which you can refer to at any time. And generally speaking, anything shaded in blue are fields you can adjust. The Company and Projects Input tab allows you to set up your company, sort of like a letterhead. Your name, company logo, and contact information can be customized. The Construction Categories tab is where you can organize the top-level groups of services that you offer. This represents how your individual line items will roll up. You can add new ones by adding them to rows at the bottom. You can assign industry standard codes, or use your own internal convention. The pricing tab is where you'll set all your rates, where you can use your cost. The markup is handled in another sheet. If you're offering a service that's not on the list, simply add it by filling out all the blue fields. The estimate worksheet is where you'll spend most of your time, itemizing all the things involved with the project. This is where you specify all the individual services that roll up to the categories you specified earlier. Say you want to add some framing. You can go to the line item column and start typing in framing the two matching services that I set up, materials and labor, are options after I select one. I can specify quantity and markup. Markup is not shown to the customer, and there's a separate sheet that will roll all the individual services up to those main categories. When you're finished with the worksheet, you can head over to the cover letter tab to customize it. Make it personal and convince them that you really know who they are and that you're committed to taking care of them. In the Estimate Summary tab, you'll see the nicely formatted breakdown of everything you put into the worksheet. You can choose to expand or collapse any of the categories to make things easier to read. Lastly, we provided a signature or quote acknowledgement page to go along with any other contracts or agreements that you'll need. You can then share this with your internal team to check over before sending it to the client. You can share this by using the Google Sheet sharing features. When everything looks good, you can export all of these final tabs by clicking File, Download, PDF. That wraps up the tour and thanks for watching. And be sure to check out our other great tools where you can manage all the jobs that you win through our project management software. Head to BuildBook for a free trial.